Indigenous Houses of the Philippines There are several kinds of houses that were built by different indigenous groups found in the Philippines. Here are some of them. 1. Nipa Hut The Nipa Hut or Bahai Kubo, is a type of stilt house indigenous to the cultures of the Philippines. Bamboo is used for the framing and support, while the roof is constructed using the palm leaves. It often serves as an icon of Philippine culture. Its architectural principles gave way to many of Filipino traditional houses and buildings that rose after the pre-colonial era. These include the colonial era Bahay na Bato, which is a noble version of Bahay Kubo with Spanish and some Chinese main architectural influence and has become the dominant urban architecture in the past. And there is also contemporary buildings such as the Coconut Palace, San Toninho Shrine, and the Modernist, Cultural Center of the Philippines and National Arts Center which are modern edifices that used Bahay Kubo as a sub-influence. 2. The Ibatan House The Ibatan House is a unique vernacular architecture developed in the province of Batanes. The Ibatan House is made primarily of lime, stone, wood, and thatch. It commonly consists of two structures, the house proper and the kitchen or storage area. The main house has the larger area and is usually made of lime, stone, wood, and thatch. The heavier materials, lime and stone, provide better shelter from the constant rains. The kitchen or storage area is usually made of wood and thatch. Compared to the Bahai Kubo and the Bahai Na Bato, the Ibatan house has significantly lower ceilings, around 1.6 to 2 meters high only, and smaller door and window openings to keep the interiors warm. Plus, there are Ibatan houses that have an attic. During the cold seasons, the cooking house also serves as sleeping quarters. The houses of Ibatan are constructed and repaired through a cooperative system. Through this system, houses are fixed with immediate action. Most of the Ibatan houses are built with limestone walls, reed, and cogon roofs, strong enough to withstand the numerous typhoons and earthquakes that visit the island on an average of eight times a year. Some houses have roof nets which allow the roofs to last from 25 to 30 years. These nets serve as the roof's protection against strong winds during typhoons. Only three walls of the house have windows, the fourth wall faces the direction of the strongest typhoon winds. The inside is relatively cool during summer and warm during the rainy season. 3. The Ifuga House The Ifuga houses were usually similar in architectural designs but they differ in decorative details depending on the tribes. Their houses were harmoniously located with the contour of the rice terraces. The one-room house of the Ifuga commonly know to them as full. The exterior of the house seems to be nothing but a pyramid resting on four posts, while the interior space is enclosed by slanting walls and ceiling that appears to be spherical that are formed by the loft. The Ifuga house have three functional levels, the ground floor, the second level for the living quarters and the third level which was used as the granary. The ground level the posts have wooden discs which was called oliang to prevent rats from entering the house. The second level or the living area was accessible through a removable ladder. The social affairs, eating, cooking and sleeping are all done in this area. At the third level there was the peti, it is a shelf that extends from the wall boards outwards to the underside of the roof. It serves as the storage area and as a structural support to the roof. Inside the house was embellished rows of skulls of animals offered to gods during their annual rituals and also as a source of pride to the homeowner. 4. The Higanan House The term Higanan means people of the wilderness. The Higanans occupy not only parts of Bukidnon province but also the hinterlands of Agasan del Sur and the boundaries of Misamis Oriental and Bukidnon province. 5. Badja House The people of the Badjao tribe are a nomadic seafaring tribe. The men of the tribe are skilled fishermen specifically the art of pantana fishing, spear fishing. They traditionally lived on houseboats moving through the sea wherever was needed, to fulfill their fishing requirements. The Bat Jaw are also talented divers, 
diving for pearls. To this day, these activities still play a major part in the lives of the Badjaw people. They collect the fish and pearls and sell them at the main markets. These activities are traditionally their main source of income. A famous folk song Bahai Kubo often sung in schools which mentions a small house surrounded by vegetables. It is a very cultural but misleading song as not all Bahai Kubo are small and surrounded by vegetables. Some early and original variants are even palace or mansion-like and used by native royalties or in the colonial era used by captains and governors. Some original mosques and churches in the Philippines are even in Nipa hut style. That's it guys. Hope you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.